Hey guys, it's Sydney, and in this video, I am going to walk you through some of the basics of setting up an external request in ManyChat. Um, so I'm here in the Auto SFB flow, and what we're really going to be focusing on is this piece right here called Verify Order. So first, we're going to walk through how to get your Seller Tools API key to make this work, and then we'll jump into what these order verification external requests mean, what the filter over here means. Um, how to use these custom fields, really everything you need to know to get this up and running. So we are going to set up our API key as a custom field here. Um, and I am just in my Seller.Tools account right now, and we're going to grab that API key. I'll show you where to get it. Then I will show you how to set that up in ManyChat. So what we want to do is come up to this menu here, go down to Edit Credentials, and this is our one set of credentials. If you have multiple sets in your account, you'll go ahead and see multiple different sets here. Um, you definitely want to make sure you're using the correct API key for the marketplace you're using. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click this edit button here, edit credential. And here I'll find my API key. So I'm just going to copy this, go over into ManyChat. This is all we need to do here. So I'll go ahead and click save. And right now I am in my settings menu. So you'll just go ahead and click settings, then custom fields. And what we see here are both user fields as well as bot fields. So this bot field is what we want to work with. This will be consistent across your entire account, whereas user fields change with each person in your audience. So I'll go over here um, and click new bot field. What we want to do is make sure that this naming convention makes sense. So we'll say seller.tools API key, and I'll just clarify that it's a test for this video. And for the value, we just want to paste in the value from our seller.tools account. So just copy and paste this value here into your bot field and click create. And you'll see that this was created, this test API key here. And this is accessible within the flow, and I'm about to show you how to set that up. Cool. So now that we have our Seller.Tools API key configured, as a custom bot field, I'm going to go ahead and walk through exactly what this means here. So if I just click on this, it'll give me the opportunity to edit this external request just by clicking on it. We'll go ahead and see the request type and the request URL here. Um, and the beauty of importing these flows is that it pulls all of this in for you. So you, no need to worry about changing any of these. Um, we'll tell you exactly which pieces of information you need to switch out. Um, so this custom field will pull in your user's order ID for this particular flow. Um, and this is really great. You don't need to mess with this or worry about manually looking up their orders. Um, it'll go ahead and do this for you. So just do a triple check to make sure this order ID is correct. And then your the only thing you need to switch out is changing your seller.tools API key. So in here we have the sample API key. Make sure you switch this out with your own. Go ahead and click save. And that is all you need to do to set up that external request when you import it from seller.tools. So again, I'll show you where to find this. Um, we are over here in the ManyChat page that's under API integrations on our website. Just go ahead and scroll down to our flows. And again, there is a huge, huge possibility here. Make sure you go ahead and check these out. We've spent a lot of time um, building these out for you. You can go ahead and save any of them to your ManyChat account directly from here. And it will pull in all of these pieces of information all the logic flows, the, um, the custom fields, anything that you could want, and then just make sure you customize those few pieces of information that are most important. So we're gonna jump back over here into ManyChat, and I'm gonna address a couple of questions that we've gotten regarding this condition step right here. So essentially all this does, when we run an external request, we get a response. Um, and this syntax is also pull pulled in for you. Um, so no need to worry about editing this, but basically what we're doing, the piece of information that we want from this is order status. We want to see, has an order been created? Is it valid? Has it been canceled? Um, basically what's going on here. Um, so we save it to this field. 
So let's go ahead and test the request and see what happens. Okay, this is a perfect example of this order was not found. This is just placeholder numbers here. That's not a real order ID, as you can tell. Um, but when the message is not found, basically there's nothing for nothing to map in order status. So when we go over here, we run it through this filter. This custom field for this particular user is not shipped or pending. So then they'll receive a message saying, we couldn't find your order. Submit your order number again, just in case that was a mistake. Run another external request and then run it through this filter once again. So really more than anything, this is just an added protection to make sure users are not abusing your promotion. Um, you're not sending rebates to anybody who did not um, actually purchase your product. So this is just an awesome safeguard for you as a seller. Um, so definitely let us know if you have further questions on that. But if anything, this is just a workaround to make sure a real order was created. And that is mainly it for external requests. Really, next you can just go into um, the step where you capture their PayPal email, um, run into the Google Sheet that you've set up, and then go ahead through the rest of this incredibly powerful flow. Um, so yeah, please reach out to our support team if you have any other questions or leave some awesome questions in the comments. Um, it's really helpful when the community is just able to share that information together. Um, so yeah, hope this was helpful and thanks guys.